Welcome to San Francisco MoMA. What's up, everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com, and uh, we're here at the launch party for the Motorola Click, the T-Mobile Motorola Click, and the Moto Blur, which is the platform, user interface, skin, whatever you want to call it, Moto's customization of Google Android that uh, I assume will be on a number of phones, but is debuting on the Click, the Click, excuse me, which is headed to T-Mobile USA later this fall and will be available in other parts of the world as the Moto Dext uh, in due time, we'll put it that way. And I'm here with a fine gentleman from Motorola who's gonna give us a little walkthrough of what makes blur and click yeah, a little bit more than your average Android phone. A lot more, actually. A lot more. <laughs> I, I, you know, I try to retain a tiny bit of objectivism, of even in the midst of fine wood tabletops and free drinks. So. Uh, what you're seeing here is our Moto Blur interface, and we really designed this product, not just the hardware, the software, the service behind this that makes it all happen, really to allow users to spend less time managing their lives and more time living it. So being able to have all that information that traditionally has been siloed into different applications, being all content forward and being brought up to you so that you can continue those conversations. You'll see in this interface, we have a custom home screen that has five different panels, all completely customizable with our own widgets as well as Google's widgets. On the home screen panel, I have three different widgets I'm gonna talk through first, and one is happenings. Happenings is all of the feeds coming down from your social networks, whether they be status feeds, wall posts, photos, all of those are being pushed down the device. I can gesture left and right go through them. You'll notice here that Kevin here updated his profile photo and I can go right in and view his profile photo. Press and hold, I can poke him, I can write on his wall, send him a Facebook message back. All of this is being integrated into the device and I don't have to go into an application to experience that. I can also quickly just comment on people's status as well if I find one. So the happenings pull down updates from whatever social networks you're logged into on your device. That's right. And how do you manage, how do you set up those social network logins and how does that all work? Is there a, a we, blur profile or something? There like is, there is. When you power on the device, you're gonna create a Moto Blur uh, account and then you'll enter all your different credentials for your different communities. Okay. The Moto Blur service will remember all of those so in case you lose your device, it gets stolen, all that's stored so that you get another device, you enter in your Moto Blur username and password and it all comes back to you, including your home screen configurations. Oh, nice, so, and I, I, would, I would assume or hope that if my, I lost my device, I could also maybe erase it or do something so whoever picked it up couldn't. That's exactly correct. So right. you can locate your device with cell ID or GPS and then wipe it if you see fit. Great. Um, the other widget that I want to talk through is messages. These are all one-to-one -one communications. These would be SMSs, emails, Facebook messages, exchange messages. We support exchange contacts, email, calendar, all. in addition to all of your personal accounts. Same type of interface. So this pulls all right. of those messages, no matter where they're coming from. If they're straight at me, that's it pulls right. them into one spot. All there, and these are your broadcast messages, kind of what's going on with my friends. Okay. This is all the stuff just to me. And then this is my way to tell everybody else what's going on. So this is my status. I can update that immediately across all the different communities, or just one at a time. So I'm going to say, you know, here. Oops. Auto correction. This looks like the standard Android keyboard. It is the standard virtual keyboard, that's now, correct. Now what if, uh, I'm, I'm going to set him up for a home run here. Watch how I do this. What if I don't like virtual keyboards? If you don't like virtual keyboards, Noah, I can open it right up and I have my full QWERTY available to me in the slide. Very nice. And from here, I'll continue the rest of the demo in this orientation <laughs> so you can see it in landscape with the keyboard open. The, the PR people are nice. I act like a wise guy and they roll with it. I appreciate <laughs> that. So it's, you know. And you'll see here it's defaulting to Facebook, but I can quickly change that to all my services and then post. So you can post to all of them at once. All of at once. So the service cool. is now updated. All those different communities. It says status is uploaded. Um, ready to go. Now, if um, for some reason I didn't want all of that stuff on my home screen, yep. um, as, as effective as it is, can I can customize that like a, an Android device can be customized. Exactly. If you don't want your messages here, you want them off to another panel, you move them over, you want to delete it, goes in the trash can, 
all those different configuration options are here for you. And like I said before, the service is going to save this entire layout for you. So if you did put status down here and this over on the next panel, it's going to remember all that for you. So when you sign in back again, it all comes down with your contacts, your settings. Your contacts also are being all populated for you. You can filter those by the different communities as well. So these are, I can get my phone's contacts as yep. well as my, my Facebook contacts or, or what have you. Exactly. And then I can gesture over, I can see all the status, kind of see what's going on with all my friends. And if I want to kind of have a more filtered version, I can say, you know, my best friends, my BFFs. <laughs> and I've, I've created a group of those people. So I've just said, these are my BFFs. Anytime I come back now into the phone application, I'm just going to see my BFFs so now, I can filter on them. Now, when all the, t the tweens see this and they stop using BFF because you and I are old <laughs> and we're not cool, Moto will update that. Right? That's so right. Okay. And, and this was a custom group that I created. So oh, you, oh, okay. Exactly. Gotcha. You can call it whatever you want. So if I were to add a group, I can name it whatever I want. In my case, I just called it BFF. I get tweets <laughs> from people with with acronyms and emoticons. I have no idea what they're talking about. Exactly. I just learned to live with this. Um, and also, we talk about all this information being pervasive across the UI as well. So it's not just in happening. It's not just in contact. It's everywhere where I interact with somebody, I am referencing that profile picture and their status, including calling. So if I call Rebecca, I'm going to see her status profile picture and her status. And this is just a great, great way to keep the conversation going. And as a conversation starter, if my wife's calling me and she's stuck in traffic, You'll I'm know. almost clairvoyant. Right. I'm right. like, oh, you're stuck in traffic? And she says, how did you know that? Um, and so, if your wife calls and the status <laughs> says stuck in traffic, be nice to her, I Absolutely. think is the upshot here. Absolutely. We also support a number of RSS feeds, and this is all being configured and pushed down by the service. So you'll see here I have news and a similar type of gestured layout here. And you can have multiple feeds in one of these different widgets, or just one. If I want to have CNN, I could just have CNN. If I want news to have coming from MSNBC, CNN, and Fox, I can or, have uh, <coughs> phone dog. <coughs> or phone dog. Or phone dog. Absolutely. And you and if you don't know phone dog's RSS feed, you can just go create a custom news. Right here, I go to widgets. I'll say, I want to go and add phone dog. And I don't know your RSS feed, but that's okay, because all I have to do is say, custom web page. And the service will go figure out your RSS feed for you. Very cool. And the hardware itself, uh, it's a capacitive touchscreen, 3G, Wi-Fi. Yep camera? A uh, 5 megapixel camera. We also support um, ambient light sensor and uh, proc sensor, so the screen's going to time out or go off when you put it next to your face. E-compass, accelerometer. Great. And just kind of for reference, let's just see in your palm how big the, the whole thing is. So it looks pretty compact, but it's, you know, it's a slider, so you've got the two layers with the, the hard keyboard. And uh, I think I saw... People who follow the site know I'm a little bit of a freak about this. I think I saw a standard headphone jack. You did. A three and a half mil headset jack on top. Excellent. I'm and all for standards. We support two colors at launch, titanium and winter white, both with a different texture on the back. So one that's a little bit more playful, one that's a little bit more conservative. I heard a story about how this started out as Morse code for Friday Night's Rock or something. <laughs> and then it, yeah, I, I that, That's where it started at one point in time. However, it doesn't wonderful. represent anything at this Not point. At There's no secret codes. Very cool. All right. And this will be out on T-Mobile USA later this fall is what I hear. That's correct. And no time pricing for information holidays. yet. Uh, at the end of this month, we'll make that. T-Mobile's going to make that. At the end of September. All right, there you go, live from San Francisco MoMA at the Moto Blur Moto Click event. It's uh, hands-on. I'm even going to touch it. They might kick me out now. Hands-on with the new Moto Click, the Android phone, the first Android phone from Motorola headed to T-Mobile USA this fall. And uh, to the rest of the world is the Moto Dex in due time. I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. Thanks for watching. Much more on all the new Android phones, all the new Motorola phones at PhoneDog.com. Hey, after watching this video, check out the new PhoneDog.com homepage and play the OnePod Bandit for your chance to win free phones.